I'll begin this video with some truths. Until about six or eight months ago, I'd never worn an undershirt. I'd sort of worn t-shirts, undershirts as a kid, or had weird vests under my shirt sometimes. But basically, I thought that as a whole, undershirts were a bit of a gimmick, and I didn't see or understand the advantages of having one. But then I decided to try some, and then my whole perspective changed. And I've been wearing an undershirt for most days since. They generally help to tackle different issues that you may have with your clothing. Let's say, for instance, you're sweating in your clothes. Undershirts can help against that. Also, if you've got you know, an itchy material on, I find that the extra layer it just provides a bit of softness. Less irritation, no chance of itchy nipples. But for me, one of the benefits has actually been something a bit different. I have really bad back knee, as I like to call it. Loads of spots across the back of the shoulder, which sometimes I itch and peck, and then they bleed. And the great thing is those few drops of blood, they can be absorbed by the undershirt. They don't soak through to the external parts of the clothing because I don't want to ruin my shirts and I don't want to walk around with a blood patch on my back. It looks like I've had a near miss with a sniper. But what I have noticed is that all undershirts aren't made equal. There are certain things to look out for if you want to get a really decent undershirt. One that's going to perform the functions that you want and that's actually worth having in the first place. Because some undershirts advertise as undershirts but really they're no different from a regular t-shirt so i'm going to show you what to look for and also which style is going to be best for your look and for your body type all of the undershirts i'm wearing in this video are brought to you by today's sponsor which is rib tea because they make the best undershirts that i've found so it's a perfect match for this video i'll talk about them a little bit later on but first of all let's get into the information right the first thing that i think a decent undershirt has got to have is some absorbency it needs to have more absorbency than a regular item of clothing. If they're made correctly, undershirts can help against sweating. But if it's not a very absorbent material, it's just going to end up getting really sweaty in the undershirt and then really sweaty outside your shirt anyway. There's almost going to be no point in having the undershirt there. So take a look at the material that these undershirts are made from. Next, I also think that the undershirt needs to be pretty tight and well conformed to your body. And this doesn't just mean, you know, take the next size down from what you'd normally take. You need something with a bit of an elasticated feel to it. And there's a couple of reasons for this. The first one being, I think it just looks better. It doesn't just look like you're wearing an oversized t-shirt under your clothes. If you were to take your top off, I definitely prefer the look of these. It also retains as much movement as possible. Because of the stretchiness of the material, it's not restraining you in any way. But also it's the fact that this undershirt is going to be underneath your clothes. If it's a really baggy undershirt underneath your clothes, you're going to have the undershirt folding. And then it'll cause ripples in the shirt that you're wearing on the outside. If it's pretty tight to your body, it's really going to act as a second skin. And then whichever top shirt, whatever you're wearing over the top, it's just going to lie flat and normal. And it'll just be as comfortable as possible. Which is why I'd also recommend looking for an undershirt that's as soft as possible. For me, this probably isn't quite as important as the last two points but it's just an extra handy little feature if it's available because you've all had the shirts where either the inside of the pocket or the other side of the logo is kind of rubbing on your chest it's itchy it's uncomfortable same with certain types of like woolen jumpers where otherwise you just want to rip the the top off and stop wearing it having an undershirt is an easy way to combat this it provides the extra barrier between any stitching in your chest and also it ensures that the only material touching your skin is something that's nice and soft anyway. Who doesn't want more comfortable clothes? And the final thing that I guess is important as well is the undershirts have got to come in a range of colours. Because not all clothes you're going to be wearing over the top of these undershirts are going to be the same colour. For instance, if there was a company that only did black undershirts and I wanted to wear a white formal shirt, oh dear. You're really going to need a couple of different colours of undershirt. Just so that it doesn't show through what you're wearing. My personal favourites for a variety of different items are going to be the skin coloured ones, but also white and grey, I find them to be the most versatile. They tend to be the best because they can go under a variety of other colours and still not show through. So now we know what properties we're looking for, let's take a look at the different types you can get. Because different shapes of undershirts are going to perform, you know, slightly better in different situations. Let's begin with crew necks. So these sit pretty high up on the chest. In my opinion, these are the best looking undershirts when worn by themselves. It's quite representative of a really well-fitting t-shirt. And if you've got quite slim fitting boxes, then this can complete the aesthetic. These are gonna be ideal if you like to wear lots of t-shirts. Normally crew neck ones, so that it sits at the same level. Some people also prefer these because they're that little bit higher on the chest. If you have quite a sweaty chest, especially if you like to do running and stuff like that, they're a bit more absorbent up there too. 
I wouldn't recommend choosing this one though if you like to wear lots of v-neck tops, mainly because you'll see it sticking through the top. And the same can be said if you've got a button down shirt where you like to undo several of the buttons. Once more you're gonna get it peeking out, so what alternatives are there? Now Rib Tee do do a couple of different types of v-neck as well. The v-necks definitely were better with button down shirts, or even some types of polo shirt, because they're not visible at all when you start to button it down. You get a secret invisible layer, and you don't wanna be looking like your dad. They come in at slightly different heights, and they're also made of different stuff. I'd say that the fractionally higher of the two of these is gonna be better if you've got maybe a polo shirt like I've got on, and you wanna undo a couple of the buttons but not go all the way down. For that, they do have one that sits slightly lower. Out of these couple of V-necks, I'd say the one that I tend to wear most is actually the one that's the conformed fit. This is the one with the spandex in, but I find this one to be super absorbent, and for me, the slightly more comfortable of the two. It is a little bit more pricey than the other one, but I think it's worth it. Also, I've gone for the peachy color, so it matches my skin pretty well, and this means I can wear it under almost anything and it still won't show through. And that's actually the one I've been wearing for the whole of this video. And it's great because you just can't see it either. The rib tee undershirts, they aren't as, as cheap as some of the other brands. But that's because almost all of these other brands, you're not getting much of a step up from a regular t-shirt. You may as well throw a five pound Tesco t-shirt underneath your top because they don't perform a good enough function to be worth it. Whereas with rib tee, you get what you pay for. You buy one, it lasts ages and performs the function you want. I find the perfect as a whole for stuff like nights out, where you know you're gonna be sweating if you're in a hot club environment. Also summer use, I think generally they're pretty decent. And they can act as an extra insulator if you wanted to during the winter time. They're quite good for temperature regulation. I'll leave a link to Rib Tea down in the description below. And even though these are really good, I still wouldn't want you paying full price. Why would you when you can use my discount code? For a limited time, if you use the code EVERYMAN at checkout, you get 20% off. You'll find all the information about it right there in the description, so go ahead Check out these undershirts and you won't regret it. I hope you found this undershirt guide useful and you'll know what to look for to get hold of a good one. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button. And if you're new around here and you wanna see similar videos on what to wear, how to style your hair, all that good stuff, make sure you press the round subscribe icon right to this side. And I've got two more videos right down there for you to check out next. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, lads.